What's up everybody? Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So, holy smokes, evidently the for sale by owner percentage in Marion, Iowa went up from 17% to 26% of the total listings in the area. This is what an agent told me when they called me maybe two weeks ago. Really extremely worried about Zillow taking over his market. Now this guy was in a real panic kind of situation called me up and said, I'm really extremely worried about Zillow taking over the market in my area. What are we gonna do? And I said, slow down, man, calm down. Tell me what's going on. And that's when he told me that the percentage of for sale by owners in his area went up from 17% to 26% from the year before to this year. So as soon as he told me this, I immediately asked him what the problem is because I literally didn't see what the problem was exactly. Of course, yes, okay, for sale by owners went up in the area, okay, but what does that mean? Okay, how does that necessarily take business away from us as real estate agents? I had to ask him this over and over and over again because he kind of kept telling me the, giving me the same answer in terms of, you know, what Zillow is taking over and, you know, they're going to get all the business. There's not going to be any business for us, so on and so forth. And what it was to me was an agent who just didn't understand the game, doesn't understand the business, doesn't understand how everything actually works in real estate. And that's why I wanted to do this video because I'm sure that there's a lot of agents out there who are in the same boat and just don't really grasp how this whole thing works. So there's two big reasons here not to be worried whatsoever about Zillow taking over all the listings in your market. The the first big reason is, is that sellers are going to try for sale by owner. A lot of them are going to try for sale by owner. With the advances in technology, you know, you may have more sellers try than used to try because they have more tools right there in front of them, right, right at their fingertips to be able to get the same exposure as us real estate agents. So why wouldn't they try? So I understand exactly why those sellers are trying this. However, what you have to understand is that in today's world, okay, in today's world, sellers don't necessarily need us as real estate agents to give them the exposure, right? They can get the same exposure through the online channels as we can as real estate agents, okay? That's not necessarily what they need us for, and that's what you have to understand. Let them have that exposure because it's there for them. That's why I talk about helping for sale by owners for free all the time. It's one of my best strategies for new agents or people who just need a deal right now and don't have any money whatsoever. Help for sale by owners for free. Help them get it on MLS their self. Not list it for free. Help them get it on MLS their self, make sure they got good remarks, help them with price, help them with professional pictures, so on and so forth. Just put forth effort to help them sell that on their own. Why? Because there's a couple of different scenarios here. Because they don't need us for exposure, they can have all the exposure on their own. What's going to happen is, is they need us for all the other parts of the transaction that they don't even realize is there until they get their hands dirty and try to do it on their own and realize how much work is involved. So they're going to get into the deal. They're going to, they're going to find out that there's more to it than just putting it online. They're setting up the showings, there's dealing with buyers, they're deal there's dealing with buyers who want a lot of information before they make an offer. You put all the work in to give them information, they never make an offer. You have a lot of buyers that don't show up. Once you do get something under contract or get to where somebody wants to make an offer, you have to fill out this illegal contract. You have to negotiate the deal. It's good to have a third party negotiating on your behalf that's a professional negotiator so that they can get you the best price possible. Once you get it under contract, there's so many intricate details of each deal that requires a lot of attention all the way to closing. Most for sale by owners try it on their own and they can't even get past the stage of showing it to many buyers. Before they even get to an offer, they throw in the towel and they want to list it with an agent, hand it over to a professional and let them handle all this work. So that's the first thing. Let's let them try it on their own because they're going to find out how much work it really is and then they're going to come back to us. Now some of these sellers are going to sell it on their own. 
let them sell it on their own. What we want to do is create that relationship with them for when they buy, which brings me to the second reason we don't need to be worried. If we're out in the market creating relationships the way that we're supposed to be creating relationships with these homeowners, with these sellers who are for sale by owner, with everyone in the area, as many people as we can possibly talk to every day, then through them selling it on their own, but we created that relationship, we found out why they're selling, we went deeper and deeper and deeper, we know that they're trying to upgrade or move across town or whatever the case may be, and we've already put the wheels in motion to help them with their next purchase. Now, we've, we've solidified the fact that we're going to be their agent when they buy something. So when we help these for sale owners for free, there's a couple of different scenarios that I've went through many times. I'll go through them really quickly. They either sell it on their own and go away. They never call you again. You helped them, you did a lot for them. They went somewhere else. They never called you back. They left the market, nothing happened. That's no different than any other buyer lead that never called you back or people you show property to. You're gonna have people that do this. This is part of the business. Continue to put your time and invest your time into people. Good things will come out of it. You won't win them all. The second scenario is, is they sell it on their own, but you created this relationship, you have good rapport, and now we're helping them buy their next property, and we're getting all their referrals for the rest of their life, and referrals of referrals, and this relationship of a for sale by owner now turned into 10 to 20 deals to us over the life of our career out of nowhere. The third scenario is that they, three months later, one week later, three weeks later, they decide, Time to throw the towel in. I'm gonna let you list it, Ricky. So those are the three different scenarios that that are that could happen. One more scenario could be that it's for sale by owner, they try it for a while and then they decide they just don't wanna sell, they take it off the market, whatever the case may be there. Our job is still to help them create the relationship and you know build that bond and personal brand for the rest of our life. So understand that people are going to try for sale by owner. It's okay, it's been going on for decades and decades. Don't let this upset you or, or get you down in any kind of way or feel like the, the sky is falling situation. We want to continue building relationships, helping people that do want us to handle the transaction for them. There's gonna be plenty of people that want you to handle the transaction for them. We wanna concentrate on these people, help them get the job done. Closings happen every single day. Do not get stuck on one or two deals. Do not get stuck on worrying about one or two things, like a disruptor coming in to steal our jobs. Continue pushing to create more relationships and help more people. If you do that, you have absolutely zero to worry about whatsoever. So I hope this video clarifies a lot for you in terms of where we are in the market right now. Sellers can go out there and get that exposure on their own. And let me just add, they can get the exposure that we can get online. However, they don't have our contacts, our personal contacts. We may have a network of people behind the scenes that only we have that could help them sell that property better, faster, for more money, so on and so forth. Also, part of my listing presentation is, is that I'm, as soon as I get that listing, I'm going right back to the office to make phone calls to targeted property owners that might want to upgrade to that listing uh, to find a buyer for that listing. So there's a lot that I have to offer there and I believe that that wins a lot of listings for me. People know I work hard, people know I get on the phone and I make it happen. So if you're working hard, if you're on the phone all the time, if you have confidence in who you are and why you're there to help people, nothing's gonna take you down. Hit that like button, shoot me a comment, let me know what you think about this. I would love to hear your opinion. Let me know if there's anything in the world I can do for you Still answering every single DM on Instagram. Let's go.